fairly simple topology. It shows yeah. the uh, servers, which we're using as traffic generators. Yeah. And then we've got some switches in between the simple network. Right. So we've got traffic that's being generated, you know, between and consumed between these different servers. And um, and you know, as we as we we can actually these are the nodes. And then we have flows going like a video on demand flow that tells you go from the server up to this one and so on. And we have yeah. actual live traffic going through um, the, the network. Yeah. And then what we do, what the administrator does in Werner Manage's network, is that they specify flows. Yeah. So this is really around these attributes. We might have a source and MAC address that we have that we could use to identify the flow of interest. Three of these uh, flow types together into the storage slice. And we got another two here that we've grouped together into this video slice. Right. Okay. So we're virtualizing the network. We've got a storage network, we've got a video network, we've got an internet network that we've now defined. And this is all spanning your entire physical, network. physical infrastructure. Your, yes, your physical infrastructure. And then you go into your slice specifications and you choose one of these, our video conferencing slice, our network. We're going to specify the uh, peak rate that we want. It's uh, you know, this we set it at 10 megabits per second. Yeah. That's the peak we want to allow. And then we've got a delay bound. We want 100 millisecond latency, at most end to end yeah, in that yeah. network. Okay. So we specified our SLAs, and then our controller then takes these specifications. They got a little. Uh, diagram here that kind of shows how the controller is taking the topology, the information about the, uh, the network itself, the nodes, the resources within the network, and the flows, the existing flows, together with an end-to-end -end performance model we've created, together with feedback from the active switches on the on actually what's happening in the network today, yeah. and taking that and creating and then performing a network slide optimization on that to determine rate limit settings yeah. on the edge switches and queue mapping for each of the flows in the network. And what's really interesting is that these queue mappings, mapping flows to queues, today when you when you did that in the network, you would probably do it, you know, prioritize uh, traffic in, a, in the same queue on each switch to the network. Yeah. However, our algorithms are able to optimize and uh, uh, tra uh, traffic in one uh, flow. Yeah. They actually get prioritized in one queue on one switch and a different queue on another switch to optimize the flow of the traffic to achieve those SLAs that the administrator set. So it's more complicated than just going and setting a fixed you know, priority for yeah. everything. It's actually more complicated. It looks at each of the nodes in the network to figure out how to actually support all of those SLAs yeah. right, for all of the flows through that common network. So we want to, you know, as you virtualize your network and create these slices, we want to make sure that when you specify policy for one slice, that it's not going to affect the policies in another slice. You know, so we go through this optimization process to make sure that we're actually using that hardware in a way to get, you know, to meet those SLOs. So that's, that's kind of the idea.